My name is Nick Schiavo. I'm the city's uh, public works director. I took this position in um, June of 2013 and uh, within a few weeks the um, meter reading staff came to me and said that we have a challenge with uh, our current drive-by system. For three or four years after it was installed, uh, it worked great. And then uh, about the fourth or fifth year of it, it things started failing. They weren't, uh, they weren't uh, communicating the read or they were communicating the wrong read. We had a lot of zero user meters all of a sudden, which uh, we track internally. I think at that point, maybe um, only 60%, 65% of the drive-by system was still functioning which meant they had to drive the route and then they had to actually uh, go back and individually read the meters that weren't read through, that, um, through the, through the drive-by system. And if 35-40% uh, of your meters aren't reading uh, and you have to physically get out and, and uh, manually read them, it adds a lot of time. We were in the newspaper, um, yeah, the, we lost confidence with the public. We absolutely needed a system um, that was going to be very robust and reliable. So the City of Santa Fe issued an RFP and through a competitive process we selected Beacon Meter Reading Technology. We bought the, the whole package, a turnkey package. They brought their contractor which was Professional Meters Incorporated, PMI, and they brought, we had it in two phases. We had the small meters, 5 eighths, 3 quarter, 1 inch, and then once that was completed, we were going to do the large meters, inch and a half, two inch, three and fours. What they have here at the City of Santa Fe is the E-Series ultrasonic meter, which is going to give them very high accuracy and very high resolution uh, detail. Um, and they have the Orion cellular endpoints that's giving them hourly data, and it's feeding into that Beacon AMA software. As Utility Billing Division Director, I oversee our customer service section, our collection section, our billing section and our meter reading section. The biggest impact has been the Eye on Water application that has just been a huge for our customer service and for our residents in the city of Santa Fe. Everybody just loves it. It provides us the capability to see consumption daily, hourly, monthly, and it's just wonderful. Ion Water is the consumer engagement um, access. It's the, um, they can log into a website or they could download an app um, and access on their iPhone or their Android. They can see what their water consumption is. Our customer service department has really felt the impact of just how much easier it is to deal with customers and talk with them. In a town like this where water is scarce, it's absolutely critical that we have uh, a system in place, uh, a, a a free system to the customer that they can uh, log on or set alerts when if there's a problem and they can see what's going on. When people call me and question their bills, I can now with confidence direct them to the Beacon site and know that I'm giving them the correct information and they can look firsthand to see what their consumption is. So it's made a huge impact in a positive way for the City of Santa Fe. And you're getting very high resolution data, that's going to help them spot leaks, really critical in reducing non-revenue water. We produce so much water every day um, and, and the, the best uh, snapshots we were able to get is, is you know, from a monthly bill and trying to true that up and we know that um, we were certainly were producing more than what was flowing through people's meters but for the first time ever we have the ability to on a, a 24 hour basis track what was produced and what went through the meters. Now, if it's unaccounted for water, we can, we can truly subtract the build amount of water from our total amount of water that came through the system and feel very comfortable with, with what the unaccounted for is. If you turn on Beacon, it tells you exactly how many, how many meters in your system are leaking. And it's scary at first, 12, 1400, but when you start drilling down on them, some of them are very tiny leaks, and the big ones we're taking care of. And we're finding them when they're 24 hours old instead of a month old when we read it last time. You lose uh, 10, 20,000 gallons um, because something is leaking in your home or there's a, a leak in your irrigation system outside, no one benefits. It's not a feel-good moment here at the city when we're billing you for that water. People pay a premium for water here and this was going to be a tool for them um, so they could get out in front of a leak. Through the Beacon server, we can almost make our own work for the day. We don't need the boss to do it. We can come in and see how many bad endpoints, uh, 
how many uh, reads haven't come in, in in 72 hours and we just we constantly are working those. They have Beacon AMA that stands for Advanced Metering Analytics. They would log in probably and look at the system at a glance um, so from an operational standpoint they can see all of the alerts um, and see how the system is operating overall. It is more of a proactive approach now right so instead of um, Instead of manually reading uh, once a month and guessing where the water went, uh, we're, we're now able to have the meter readers, um, again, just do more proactive work. In Santa Fe, and I, um, we've never had a tool that would show us black flow incidents. Now we do. We never had a, a way of telling the temperature inside of a water can. With the Badger meters, we now have that. I can run a report that tells me when a meter can gets to 30, 40 degrees. Instead of waiting for them to pop and uh, break and water running down the road or the customer calling that they don't have water, uh, we can be proactive once again and get there before it freezes. Clean, potable water is getting very scarce. And to take any water and make it clean and potable, it is very expensive. The chemicals we use, the pipes to deliver, the, the labor to, to put those pipes in the ground, all of it, none of it gets cheaper. This is going to give not just the city tools to better use that water and, and, and watch over it and take care of it, but it's also giving the customers, those who are into it, uh, they, they are into it. With Beacon, it's changed the way the city of Santa Fe is doing business. The Badger Beacon system is going to serve us very well for the next 20 years, I truly believe. Knowing where Santa Fe was coming from, it was really um, great uh, to have the opportunity to be able to partner with them and support their goals, um, knowing that this is going to be a long-term partnership and, um, and we'll be around, the technology will be around for, for a good long time.